Welcome to Learn Brizzy Page Builder. This is JP. And this morning I'm sitting in a bed and breakfast. I'm on travel. And luckily I've got my good blue Yeti microphone with me here. And they only serve decaf coffee? Seriously? Do they want me to sleep longer? I don't get it. So let's quickly have a look at the new gallery element that had been released by Brizzy yesterday. And then I'm going to go down for my breakfast and they better have normal coffee that can shock me into a new oblivion. Right. So let me just close up here. I'm also on a laptop and, you know, working on a laptop suddenly. I have to tell you, if you are used to a big screen coming down to the smaller screens, it really gets you. It's like, where is everything? And then you begin to understand why certain things like the the functions up here, what we add elements when these things start making sense. But yeah, that's about the small screen. Let's look at the gallery element. And I'm still waking up. I'm going to delete this just because I want to start fresh and show you. And then we drag in the column. And then I'm going to remove one of these columns. I just want to have one column. Drag in the new gallery element down here. And this you will only see if you have the pro version. If you don't have pro, you don't know where to go. So drag it in there and you will see that we have two images. Similar thing that you usually will do is that you click on your images and you load them in here. Click on this image and you load them there you go. And you've got your gallery there. Very, very basic at this point. And if we view it very quickly here, and then you can see there we have a gallery element. The next thing that you can do with this gallery element is to add more pictures. So if I want to have three or four columns, where do I go for that? If you click here, you will not see any method. And if you click on this one called duplicate, it's going to drop down here another picture. And that's not what we want. Actually, it dropped one here and it moved that picture down here. That's not what we want. So let's undo that. And then I'm going to show you, you have to go to the bounding box of the gallery element, which is this one. Click on it. And then here you click on the gallery icon and you will see over here columns. Now if you increase it to three, it will drop in another one over here. Right. The only problem is it didn't drop in an element. It only made space for another element. So what you need to do now is grab your picture and duplicate it and then it will give you a new one. Go in there, delete it and then upload a new one. Of course, I don't like that delete thing that I have to delete it. So what I would recommend is let's make a new column. Let's drag in a new column here at the bottom. We do it again and I'm going to delete this one and we drag in our gallery. What you do before you start dragging in your images is you go and set up how many columns you want. If you know beforehand, that would be nice. Let's make this one four. And then you go click on the image, duplicate it and duplicate it. And now all you need to do is click and drag your image. Right, we are probably going to have requests for people who say, can't I select four images and they will just automatically drop in by themselves? Hey, great idea. So please go over to GitHub and log your request over there. And let's see if that is something that can be done in the future. Okay, so I've uploaded these four images. Let's have a look at how the spacing works. You cannot control the spacing by clicking on the images. You need to go to this bounding box and then, oops, go to the masonry, this little icon here. And here you will be able to control the spacing. For the gallery, I would recommend to stay away from your margins and your padding. I played around with it earlier. It starts messing up things really, really badly. So if you want to control the spacing between the images, stick to this little one of the spacing over here. You can do it over there. Right, so let's have, let's go to the next one. Now you want to add a second row. Do not duplicate here. That's very important. What I just did, do not go and do that, right? So I'm going to undo it and I'll show you what you have to do. You have to click here on this image and then you duplicate, uh, duplicate the image, right? So it's going to be similar to what I mentioned before. Why does it keep popping up to the top? And now you can go and you can change these images. This is how you will have to do it. 
or like I said, the one that I showed earlier, if you don't want to click delete and load again, then you do what I mean, uh, I had shown there at the beginning is that you, you just drag in your blank images and then before you add an image to it, you duplicate them first. Okay, let's just get this guy and his cat. And he's also more interested in his coffee. I hope his coffee is at least normal, strong, powerful, kicking coffee. All right, so there we have those images. Now, the next thing that's going to be done is what we call masonry. This is where you start, you know, interlaying these things and you do it like this. Click on the image, see the handle and drag the handle. And this will affect only this column. So you see this one will extend it. This one will remain the same. Next one, let's do this. We drag on this one and we drag her all the way down here. Now, of course, for me, you know, I care about a pixel. Um, this is something that we hopefully can still do something about in the future. But that pixel, that one pixel over there, it can drive me absolutely nuts. So let's do this and we grab that one. And hey, that was interesting. Why did the image jump? Hmm, okay. You saw that, right? It jumped. It wasn't there. It jumped. Okay. Life is full of surprises, especially at this stage. Okay. So this is how you go about making a masonry uh, let's just have a look because i do see that when you put the images often inside the carousel it does appear or the gallery not carousel it does appear blurred but when you go where is our preview when you go and you view it you will see it displays correctly uh, so don't get too worried about if the images looks a little bit blurry it could also be that my computer i've set my my display to 110% and I know that often makes things look very, very blurry. But you can see it looks pretty nice. But again, that one pixel down there, I can see that's not perfect. Often in many masonry um, styling elements that you get in other page builders too, you'll often have this kind of effect. It's very difficult, it seems, for people to get these things. You see there, look at that. It jumps. That is very, very curious. I'll have to go and think about this. The inner dialogue, like Darren says. Hmm. The image jumps around. Okay, Chris Cross will maybe be able to help us with that, why it is jumping around. So, okay, so very interesting. Um, not sure why it does that, but like I said, we can follow up on that. What I want to say, that there is still a lot to be done with and the possibilities of this gallery element. Really, it looks very promising. But what I want to say is that this feature that you see here in front of you, dragging it like that, that is really awesome. I've never seen anything like it. And I like that the guys at Brizzy can think outside the box and give us these things that are not present in other page builders. So hopefully with a little bit of fine tuning and making things smoother, we'll get all that great features. The last one. What I want to focus on is go here to our bounding box for the gallery. Click on it and go again here and you will see the light box feature. We've talked about the light box before. Click on the light box, right, and let's go view it. And this is now where you get a nice gallery carousel kind of effect in your light box. So this one now is supposed to be light boxed. Why I don't see anything. Let's just update it. I found sometimes with the light box feature there needs to be an update. Right, let's do it again. And yes, there we go. Right, so just uh, this is something I discovered previously with the previous light box. Sometimes it doesn't read, and then you just update it, make sure that it has been read back into your WordPress. Right, so now if I click on this, you will see our first image or the image there will load up. And you can see we've got our cursors here. We can go through these images. Very nice, very well done. I like it. It's a good start, very good start. Okay, the features are rolling out. Let's see. Please keep testing them. Please find those bugs. It doesn't help. You just sit and watch what I do. You need to go and help because we've, we've really did uh, a very good troubleshooting with George this weekend where we had looked at stuff and we went back and forth and we found out what is going on. So I really appreciate the feedback. If you also do this and you can see what you found and then, you know, this way we can really give good constructive feedback us investors. Have a great day.